you know, I've, I've been trying to explain to my three-year-old the concept of patience. And if you have a young kid or you are around young kids, you know this is like incredibly impossible, right? It's like it's the hardest thing in the world to explain to a three-year-old who's just in the moment and has no idea that, that they have to be patient. But I found a way. The other day I was with my son and he was really pining after the iPad and he wanted to get on the iPad. You know, we limit the amount of time he's able to do it. But I said, okay, fine, you can do it. And he was really frantic and kind of excited about it. And so he clicks the Bible app for kids because, you know, we're good Christians and that's all we let him do. <laughs> not, not really. Uh, and he clicks it and he, he, he clicks one of the stories that isn't loaded into the, the thing. So then all of a sudden it starts to load. And I'm like, oh, no, he's going to melt down because he has to wait on this thing that he's been kind of excited about. And so I start to say, okay, you know, it, we, you know, just, it, it's, lo he looks at me, he goes, daddy, it's loading. <laughs> and he just like focuses back and he's just watching the bar go across the screen. And it's taking a long time. I'm like, wow, he's being incredibly patient. This is unbelievable. So I was like, all right, I can use this. <laughs> so a couple days later, we're at the doctor and we're having this conversation with the doctor and I need Miles to sit and be still and quiet for like two minutes while we have this wrap up conversation with the doctor. And I said, Miles, I need you to act like things are loading right now, okay? I need you to be patient. Things are loading. He said, okay, okay, Daddy. And he sits there in the chair, and he acts as though he could be patient. Like he's understood and connected the two dots of I can wait for it to load, and I can be patient in this moment. And what I want you to know is that when God makes a promise, it may load for a little while. It may actually load for a long time. But it... God never breaks a promise. He never doesn't follow through to 100% of what he said he's going to do. He never forgets. He always, always follows through on what he says he'll follow through on. Sometimes we just need to learn how to wait patiently while the promise is loading. But sometimes it is very hard to live submitted to God's timing, which is what Abraham did look at verse 13 they all died in faith not having received the things promised but having seen them and greeted them from afar and having acknowledged that they were strangers and exiles on earth therefore god is not ashamed to be called their god for he has prepared for them a city he lived as though the promise had already been fulfilled it says he believed God in that moment, and it was credited to him as righteousness. And for Abraham, the reward was the promise. The reward was not the fulfillment of the promise. The reward was the promise. The reward was the relationship with God. The reward was receiving the one son and knowing the rest was going to come. The reward was understanding that God will follow through on what he says. 